President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And again, the floor is given to the co-prosecutor to continue putting questions to the witness. a toujours la parole. However, I notice defense counsel for the accused, Victor Coupe, is on his feet, and you may proceed, counsel. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I request the Chamber of Permission to revisit the topic this morning for two minutes. Avec votre autorisation, j'aimerais revenir au sujet de ce matin pendant quelques minutes pour vous expliquer ce que nous avons compris concernant les déclarations de DCCAM. Ceci a une pertinence vis-à-vis de ces témoins-ci. Avec votre autorisation, il me faudrait une ou deux minutes simplement. So this morning, Mr. President, I raised the situation, the problem with these DCCAM statements. One of which I read to the an excerpt of to the witness of this morning. That was part, as I said earlier, of a batch of 66 DC camp statements. Um, and we have now um, established that of these 66. DC CAM Nous statements, savons maintenant que all of which have parmi E3 ces 66 déclarations, only 13 toutes les déclarations portent des codes en E3, uh, seules 13 déclarations sont traduites en anglais, this morning, none of them into comme French, je l'ai dit ce matin, but aucune n'est traduite en français, uh, 13 into English. sont traduites en anglais. Um, it seems that all of these uh, DC CAM statements are quite, or sometimes highly relevant DC to uh, the witnesses uh, of uh, the Dem side. So the question remains, uh, um, we know that they are relevant because uh, barrage, a week ago we received um, 64 summaries of um, these DC CAM statements. So the question now is, um, how should we proceed with documents that are very relevant to this second of the trial, but which are only 13 out of 64, 13 out of 64 translated, are not translated, are only in Khmer. Um, the question, of course, is um, um, who is responsible for the translation and how quick can the translation be done of these uh, remaining 51 extremely important DC CAM statements on the dam. So that's the question that I would like to raise. I'm not sure if it's actually a problem of prosecution or whether it's now in the hands of the trial chamber because the trial chamber gave E3 numbers to all of these 64 documents on the 15th of June 2015. President, thank you, Council, for raising that concern. The Chamber will consider the matter tomorrow. And the co-prosecutor, you may now resume your questioning. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, just one more question on the three arrests you just described. Were the people arrested members of your group? On the issue of the arrest, yes, arrests were made in my unit. 
Concernant des arrestations, oui. And other than those three people, were, was anyone else arrested in your unit? Autre que ces trois personnes, y a-t-il eu d'autres arrestations parmi les membres de votre unité? Arrests were made in my unit and they were trapped out and I did not see any uh, other arrests besides the arrest that I mentioned. Can you tell us to your knowledge what the total number of arrests made in your unit was? I only knew about the arrest of the three workers from my unit, and I do not know about any other arrest. Je ne suis pas au courant quant à d'autres arrestations. As I uh, informed the court, we did not chambre, speak to one another on this issue, and when we returned from the work site, we, assembly, uh, we simply slept and did not talk. On ne faisait que dormir, and on were ne these three pas. members members of your your ten person group, your thirty person group, or the ninety person uh, big unit? De dix personnes, uh, de l'unité de trente personnes, ou de la grande unité de quatre-vingt-dix personnes. Réponse. In the arrest was made in the small unit, that is the city man unit. Okay, thank you. Um, I'd like to turn now to your, your working hours. Can you tell us what your working hours were on a typical day at the Trapiang Tma Dam work site? Quels étaient les horaires d'une journée typique de travail au site de travail de Trapiang Tma? On the uh, working hours, allow me to inform you that the working hours varied. Some workers would uh, start uh, working one another up during the hard period at uh, 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the morning and we began working immediately. However, when it was not, uh, the, when the situation was not uh, that demanding, we started working at around 5 o'clock in the morning. La situation était moins exigeante, nous commencions le travail autour de 5 heures du matin. So, as I said, uh, working Quand hours were it. It could be from 5 o'clock in the morning and uh, continued until 11 uh, when we stopped for lunch. And then we started working again uh, from 2 to 5. And after dinner, it was from 6 to 9. And that is the typical uh, shift. That is the three seats la, uh, per day. Typique, uh, donc and just so I'm understanding uh, you correctly, are you saying that you did the, trois, the evening uh, shift from six to nine every day or almost every day? Dites-vous que le soir vous travaillez tous les jours de 18 h à 21 h ou presque tous les jours? The evening shift from 6 to 9 p.m. was during the time when the, the situation was demanding or when there was an emergency to uh, patch the dam or to actually uh, complete the remaining workload for the particular segment of the a work site. So it was not a regular shift, but it was a, Cette, uh, according to the need and the urgency of the uh, workload. De, uh, so we actually uh, adhered to travail, the instructions and that we had to complete the work uh, quota. And for that reason, sometimes we had to réaliser, engage in the evening shift. And you've just mentioned your work quota. Can you tell us what your work quota was on a typical day? Votre quota de travail. Quel était le quota de travail d'une journée typique pour vous? Uh, 
according to the work, work plan, a, a quota was set at the beginning, and which was two cubic meters per day. And if we could complete the work quota of the two cubic meters per day during the daytime, an additional one cubic meter was added for the evening shift. Uh, and if uh, the rest of the workers in the unit could not complete the, the three cubic meters per day, si then the person would be criticized si since other workers from other groups jour, could complete the work quota, and that's how it uh, went. How far did you have to carry the soil that, that you would dig and transport to the, the dam? Sur quelle distance deviez-vous transporter la terre euh, que vous creusiez et que vous transportez jusqu'au barrage? It was, uh about uh, 10 meters away, that is to, to go from to the ground uh, up to the embankment of the dam. Sortir, uh, pour, pour, uh, and do you, do you know how much each load of soil that you would carry would weigh? Question, combien peser cette terre que vous transportez? It is difficult to Réponse. tell you exactly the, the load. If we had to dire exactement combien cela pesait. complete the work quota earlier, we had to put more load Bien onto the, the basket. So it, uh, the, the load uh, varied depending Donc on the situation. En fonction de la situation. However, usually at the beginning we would uh, put uh, more load onto the baskets, but once uh, our début, strength uh, the les became weaker, et, uh, we uh, put less into the baskets. On était plus faible, on les moins. And what about your food ration? Can Question. you tell us how much food you were given each day as you were carrying out this work? Qu'est-ce qu'on vous donnait à manger tous les jours uh, pendant que vous travailliez? We were given uh, two Réponse. meals uh, per day, Nous recevions deux repas par jour. and a can of rice was given to two Et workers, and the uh, food was organized and distributed uh, by la, the uh, economic section. The food was cooked elsewhere and was uh, transported to the work site uh, to give to the workers. That was to save time so that the workers did not go to where the food was prepared and cooked. And so, <coughs> excuse me, this, this amount of food, did it, did it feel like enough or did it feel like not enough? Were you hungry? Were you weak? Or did you feel okay? Aviez-vous faim? Est-ce que vous vous sentiez faible ou euh, aviez-vous assez à manger? Caro. Because the food was not enough. I don't want to talk much about this, but the food was not enough. You can imagine a, a can of rice for two workers. And sometimes it was not uh, cooked rice that was given to us, but uh, gruel. And uh, other times, uh, gruel was uh, actually watery. There were only a few pieces of rice in it. Can you tell us something about the hygiene uh, conditions at the work site? des conditions sanitaires au site de travail. Hygiene was uh, problematic at the work site. 
les conditions the, sanitaires, les problématiques de travail, how we relieve ourselves and the diseases that we contracted through, including dysentery. Des possibilités de se soulager. And that uh, was the difficulty we experienced in terms of hygiene. Ça, aux conditions sanitaires. The sleeping quarter was uh, not a proper one, and the floor where we slept Là on was made dormait, of uh, bamboo. Pas adapté, and sometimes uh, workers had to sleep il y avait directly on the ground, un sol en not bambou, even the uh, mais parfois des bamboo floor devaient dormir uh, à même was le given et même or, pas or was made uh, uh, available uh, in the sleeping quarter. Some workers had time not to, to, to sleep on. Certains so the situation was uh, difficult, and terre. every worker had to find difficile. own means uh, to Chaque sleep. In your last dormir. answer, you mentioned Question. diseases, including dysentery. Réponse, Can you give us a feel for how often the workers that you personally knew and worked with um, would get some kind of disease. Les travailleurs que vous connaissez avec lesquels vous travaillez euh, à quelle fréquence euh, contractaient-ils des maladies The food was not prepared according to the safety standard, and we la simply ate what was given in order to fill our stomach. And we simply followed uh, the flow. And for that reason, some on workers, including myself, uh, had uh, dysentery. But there was nothing uh, much that we, we could do. Aussi. On nothing was rien. made available to oui. us in terms of uh, hygiene. On avait, uh, rien uh, à notre do you know anyone in your unit uh, or otherwise who died of disease during their time at the work site? Savez-vous si des membres de votre unité sont euh, décédés suite à des maladies contractées sur le site de travail? Yes. Réponse oui. People died from dysentery. Des gens sont morts de dysenterie. And the death was the result of lack of uh, medical treatment Et or, or medicine. Ces décès and I myself knew at least uh, one person died from dysentery. We could not uh, have access to a hospital unless we had to leave the, the work site. There were uh, medical Sauf units at the cooperative, Il y avait des but uh, there was no such access at the work site. And going back to your work quota Question. and your working hours, uh, uh, au how often were you able to complete your work quota during the time allotted? No, uh, I. It, it varied actually. Sometimes I could complete the work uh, quota. Variable, uh, at other time I could not, quota, and for that I was uh, criticized. But I tried my best to meet the uh, work quota. Le quota de and sometimes uh, workers or those who Parfois, completed the work quota earlier would assist the uh, members within the group who did not yet reach the, the quota. And as I said, uh, when the time of the day uh, went on, we became weaker and we could not put the heavy load onto the baskets. Uh, Mr. President, with the Chamber's leave, I'll now pass the floor to my national colleague. Mon confrère national, ma consoeur nationale.
National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, uh, good afternoon, Mr. Le President, Your Honours, and everyone in and around the courtroom. I'm Mr. Witness. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Song Cha Won. I'm a National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, and I have uh, some supplementary questions to put to you. You told the court that you arrived in the defense modern work site in late 76, that is after the rice harvest, and that you remained on site until 1977. Could you please confirm as to which month or which period of the year that you remained in 1977? Answer. As I stated early, I cannot tell you the date. I can only remember the year, but not the day or the month. Question. So you remained uh, at the work site in 1977, was it, uh, for example, uh, before the Khmer New Year or after, or was it uh, during a, the rainy season of the year? Answer. It was in January 1977, when I refer to late 1976, that was after I had been surprised in uh, uh, December, and then I began uh, working at the Department of Dam work site in probably January 1977. And as I said, I had been in many work sites as part of the mobile unit. I had visited the rice in Tmopu in late 76, and by early 77, I was assigned to work at the Department of Dam work site. Question in order to Question. make it clear regarding the period that you work at Donc the Pent Modern work site. Uh, Here, I refer only to the time that you actually worked at the work site. How many months did you spend working at the Pent Modern work site? Answer. Réponse. I was there during 1977, and I remained there until late 77, so I spent almost a whole year of 77 at the work site. Question. So during Question. the period of almost a year Donc, that you were there, de and you already said that there were many workers on site. Could you just give us an estimate of whether the workers were in hundreds, in thousands, or in ten thousands? Answer. Réponse. I cannot give you the, the figure, however, people were everywhere, and there were crowds of people along the embankment of the dam from the beginning to the end, and we were in different sections according to work assignment. And allow me to say, we worked in mobile units, and mobile units from, uh, were from various sectors or from various cooperatives, and worked, they worked on different sections of the Trapentmode Dam embankment. So I cannot tell you the exact figure for that. Question. You already uh, informed the chamber about the criticism meeting. Was such meeting held often? And when was it held? Answer. Uh, 
answer. Réponse. I actually informed the court already about uh, such meetings. Déjà the meetings were held when the work plan was uh, imposed. Ces réunions étaient organisées lors uh, de la And the meetings du plan were also held upon the end of the uh, work plan. Lorsqu'on arrivait à la fin du plan de travail. Or members of the group uh, criticized one another if we could not complete the, the quota. And the purpose si of the criticism meeting was to, to reinforce uh, the workload and to pay more de, attention uh, to uh, the work plan. Renforcer l'importance du Question. plan de travail. Were such a meeting held on a daily basis, for example, Question. at the end of the work uh, shift in the evening, or was it held de façon quotidienne, fortnightly or monthly? Chaque journée de travail, ou bien tous les toutes les deux semaines ou tous les mois? Answer. Réponse. The group of the uh, unit meetings. Uh, were held and they varied depending on the urgency uh, of the situation. During the demanding period, meetings were held rather often. Otherwise, they were held only when needed. Se tenait uniquement en Question, cas de and who actually led uh, the criticism meetings? Ces réunions de critique? Answer, the meetings were held uh, within the group subordinated uh, to the unit, groupe, and then instructions uh, were laid uh, to us. On nous des ordres, des instructions. And that how the uh, meetings uh, went, and if members were uh, inactive, then si the members or such members were criticized. Actif, on les Question. So the the Question. group chiefs or the unit chiefs uh, actually changed the meeting, so the meetings were held only among the, the workers. Réunions, ou vous étiez simplement entre vous, entre travailleurs? Answer. Réponse. It was the uh, unit chief who actually changed the meeting, and after that, uh, the the group chief. Et ensuite, would uh, reinforce the message from the uh, unit chief, and le that uh, have the, the reinforcement of uh, process that is from the unit chief to the group Donc, chief and to the members of the group. Il y avait le chef d'unité. Uh, ensuite, le chef de so groupe usually the message, unit chief uh, would reinforce uh, the message within the, the unit, Donc, while the uh, group chief reinforced Donc, that message. In le the chef d'unité uh, qui a porté group. le message et le chef de groupe qui venait And souligner question. ce message. You mentioned about this uh, special unit or a call card in Khmer. La question, Can you elaborate a little bit further on this, uh, avec this un type of Khmer. unit? Pouvez-vous nous uh, parler davantage de ce type uh, d'unité? Answer. The uh, word Kong Karnay or special unit uh, was formed, and I myself did not understand about the term that was used. Uh, However, pas bien uh, ce members terme, of the uh, unit were those who were alleged of uh, being uh, stubborn, or who, did, uh, or who committed mistakes, or who were inactive. Uh, so those who were not active in doing their works or who were considered bad would be removed and from their from the regular group and placed into that special unit. That's how I understand it. And uh, the word the Khmer, the Khmer word that used was Karanay or, or special case uh, unit. So for those who were considered uh, difficult workers who were put into that uh, special case unit for uh, being pampered.
Question. And what did they do to those members of the so-called special care unit? Et l'unité des cas spéciaux, que faisait-on aux membres de cette unité? And the workers who were assigned into this uh, special case unit had to work hard as they were being tempered as part of uh, the uh, part of the member of the, the unit. I myself did not belong to the special case unit, but I knew that if workers who were considered inactive would be removed from the regular group and put into the special case unit, and that they had to work harder in that special case unit. So, like it or not, if you were considered inactive, you would be assigned to work in the special case unit, and the work condition there was harder than the regular unit workload. Question. So the uh, working condition was uh, hardest in the special case unit as they were uh, being tampered. Can you elaborate a little bit further on that? And uh, I myself uh, was not part of the Réponse. special cash unit. However, I was uh, told about the working condition of the members in the special cash unit. I was told that they had to work hard, much harder. And if we were to uh, make a mistake, then we would be removed from our regular group and put into the special cash unit. That's all I know, and I do not know any further details regarding the nature of the workload of the special case unit. Court prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Winner. Thank you, Mr. President. I conclude my line of questioning. I would like now, uh, I would like the chamber to give the floor to Litko Lawyer, President. The floor is now given to Litko Lawyers to put questions to this witness. You may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, judges and parties. I would like to ask the chamber to give the floor to Sun Suwon to put questions to this witness. I would like to ask uh, Mr. President, this afternoon we observed that uh, there were objections uh, by parties. So I would like to know how much time left for civil party lawyers. President, you have time from now on until 4 o'clock. No additional time for you. Civil Party Lawyer, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, judges. And Everyone in and around the courtroom. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. I am Sun Siwon, the civil party lawyer. I am representing civil parties in case 002. I have uh, a few questions for you, so please respond, respond to the question asked by me. First, I would like to know about Trapeng Tmo Dam. When did the inauguration take place? And did you attend the inauguration ceremony? Answer. I did not attend the inauguration ceremony because I was the last one to be there. As for meetings or conferences, I attended those meetings. J'y ai assisté. 
once again as for the inauguration i répète, did not attend je pas it assisté à la i uh, was not there when je the inauguration took place civil party lawyer perhaps it is uh, the conference that or meetings that you attended peut-être avez-vous participé à des réunions Why workers, I mean fat workers, were required to attend the conferences and they were asked to stand in front of other workers? Why? What was the reason? Answer. I told the chamber already, every time the conference was held, there were many people there in that conference. And during the conference, only fat people were required to stand in the front lines. And as for me, I was a thin and I had swollen the disease. I was told to stand behind the fat workers. I was standing behind at that time. I was rarely allowed to stand in the front line. Question. I have other questions I would like to ask you. Who chair? The conference. Answer. The conference uh, was chaired by Catre uh, from sector level. It was Tajil. Tajil presided over uh, the conference, he addressed it, he addressed uh, the attendees at the work site. Lawyer, thank you. Who was Musambat? Do you know who this indi individual was? Answer. I do not know him uh, personally. I heard people say that a Musambat was chief of the zone. I overheard this uh, from my work colleagues. I uh, do not know his face. I do not know him personally. Lawyer, thank you. During the conference, did the speakers mention the reason the dam was built? Answer. The slogan was announced that uh, certain tons of uh, right year need to, needed to be achieved. This slogan uh, was made and was announced to uh, workers, and uh, it was said that uh, there were irrigation, there was irrigation system, there was field for workers to uh, work on. So the announcement and slogan was mentioned to workers to strive to work. Civil party lawyer. Now I would like to move to another topic concerning purging. Purge. Purging was uh, conducted from top to the bottom level. How did you know this? Answer. People, workers in within units heard that Purge uh, would take place when the catrays from uh, Southwest Zone came to replace uh, the previous catrays. Uh, disappearance could be seen. 
unit chiefs uh, started to disappear from time to time, and uh, we, uh, uh, ordinary workers, started to fear after the disappearance of unit chiefs. And uh, I heard that a purge would be conducted from against uh, the cadres from the top to the bottom. Disappearance happened at that time. Unit chiefs of uh, big units or small units disappeared. And I realized that uh, it was not a good situation at all. Units from a southwest zone uh, came to Les replace the previous cadres at my uh, work site. Lawyer, thank you. You said that uh, disappearance happened uh, from time to time. Did they uh, disappear from work? So, uh, what do you mean by disappearance? Answer. They disappeared, uh, and uh, I could not see them. Ils disparaissaient, répondez-moi. Je ne les voyais plus. And uh, members within the units uh, never saw uh, these uh, people who had disappeared. Ne revoyez plus les personnes Lawyer, qui avaient thank disparu. you. I would like to ask about workers at Atopeng Tomor Dam, including you. Were you allowed to rest on, man, on, a man, on a monthly basis or yearly? Answer. I did not have any resting time within my unit. After the dam uh, had been built, we were required to patch uh, the broken parts of the dam, and some people uh, were assigned back to villages. After we had we were assigned to build the dam, we had to go and uh, construct bridges. Lawyer, thank you. Did the work-related accident happen to workers at Tropeng Tmor Dam, for example? The workers hit by the holes while they were while a uh, soil uh, was dug, or did a soil collapse happen to workers at Tropeng Tmor Dam? Answer. During the time that I was working at the Bankmore Dam, I was one of the workers. Nothing happened, no work related accident. Why I said that? Because uh, we would try to prevent the, the dams to cause any problems to. Nous workers, if we found out uh, that uh, si there would be uh, broken parts on the dam, we would uh, go and patch uh, the broken parts in at one. I have no idea what happened within other units at uh, other locations. Lawyer, thank you. I uh, would like to ask you about workers at the work site, the bank more work site. Were they happy to work at that Tropeng Tmor dam? President. Please wait, Mr. Witness. Mr. Cooper, you may now proceed. Please wait, Mr. Witness, said the President.
You may not proceed, Cope. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I think the witness uh, can say whether he was happy. Maybe he can say something about his fellow unit members to whom he spoke and asked at the time whether they were happy. But surely he cannot say whether all 10,000 people were happy. So I think counsel should limit her question to the actual knowledge of um, this witness. Des questions qui concernent le témoin. Civil party lawyer, Mr. President, I would rephrase my question. Were you happy to construct the Pentmore Dam? De construire le barrage de Trapentmore. Answer. I would like to tell the chamber. Réponse. Generally speaking, dire à la chambre que de façon générale, I was not happy. Je pas I never ex experienced such a work assignment, regardless uh, the fact that I was satisfied with the assignment or not. I had to do it anyway. Et que je sois satisfait ou non, je devais de toute façon faire le travail Lawyer, thank qui m'était assigné. From your observation, d'après ce que vous avez pu observer, were there any Chinese delegates or were there senior leaders des hauts dirigeants visiting the site to Pengtmo Dam? En visite sur le site de Trapengtmo, y a-t-il jamais eu Answer, yes, there were delegates visiting uh, the dam. I noticed there were Chinese delegates. We, I rarely saw uh, foreign or Chinese delegates coming to visit the dam site. At that time, I could see them at the work site uh, taking photos of uh, Topiangtmo Dam. They were coming in vehicles. Lawyer. Were film shot at Trapangtmo Dam. A-t-on jamais tourné des films sur le site du barrage de Trapangtmo? Answer. I do not know about the filming, whether or not it was shot. Je ne sais pas si un film. Lawyer, thank you. Now I would like to move to another topic that is the forced marriage at Trapangtmo work site. From your observation, and as you perhaps know, the construction of Trapangtmo work a dam started in late 1976 and completed in late 1970. Et s'est achevé fin 77. From what you saw, uh, did you observe uh, there were there uh, middle-aged groups, women groups, men groups, and children groups there working at the dam site? But I would like to know about the forced marriage. Were forced marriage held si at Topentmo Dam? Answer: Yes. Réponse, oui. There were marriage. Uh, Il y avait des mariages. Marriages uh, were held for many couples at that time, de couples and uh, we temps. and uh, the People who were going to get married did not gens, know whom they were going to get married. Lawyer, thank you. You Je have just remercie. stated that uh, there were Vous many de couples in the, the wedding. Présent. How many uh, couples were there in uh, that marier, wedding? Combien étaient-il? Combien de couples il y avait-il? Answer. At that time, I uh, did not uh, get m married, and I uh, did I did Je not know how many couples were there. There were at uh, the wedding. 
lawyer, thank you from your observation, and you have told the court about what happened. Some people did not know each other and had never seen each other before they got married. And uh, couples were paired up. Uh, did they have uh, courage to refuse uh, the couple that they were selected for? Answer, yes, the, the marriage was forced, but for instance, a man loved a woman, but uh, this Un man uh, did not dare femme, to say he loved the woman. And this woman uh, was forced to get married with another man. Un autre homme. So uh, the, this man could not uh, get married and donc, uh, live with that woman, the woman that uh, he loved. Marriage uh, were was mostly forced for the couples. Le ma les I pour want to say that the marriage was held, and after the marriage, they did not know La where to go and spend time together because mariage, uh, it was dark ligne, in the night after the marriage. Car il nuit noire après le mariage. Lawyer, you stated that uh, the newlywed uh, would uh, confuse their uh, future husband or wife. Did you mean that the marriage uh, take place at night time? Witness. Yes, the marriage took place at night time. Lawyer. After the marriage. What happened to que those who refused to Car consummate their marriage? De le mariage. Uh, Answer. After the wedding Réponse. or marriage, Après le mariage, if the newly wed si les were not satisfied with each other, and if they refused to consummate the marriage, they would risk their lives because it was against the decision of Anka. Anka made the selection for them. And if they dare to refuse spending time together, they would risk their lives. If the woman refused to spend time together with the husband, something would happen on her. That is, uh, she would risk her life. Lawyer, you stated that if uh, they re the newlywed refused the si consummation of their marriage, mariage, they would risk quatre, their life. So could you clarify, uh, were the newlywed uh, under watch after their marriage at night time? Answer. Actually, surveillance was conducted at that time, and they really wanted to know whether the newlywed got along with each other, and the female people would be understood by their colleagues, female colleagues, that uh, she uh, did not spend time with uh, the Les husband, and the same uh, applied to male workers. Il, il Lawyer, from your observation, after men and women were paired up and got married, was there any militiaman conducting a surveillance over the newly wed or new, the new couples who had just got married. Answer. 
I, I am not able to tell you because, as I said, I uh, did not dire. get married at that time. Parce que je ne me suis pas à Mike is not activated. Le micro est éteint. President, you may now resume your line of questioning, President, civil party lawyer. Veuillez reprendre, Madame civil Madame party lawyer, I would like to Madame resume my line of questioning. From your observation, did you ever see rape happening after the marriage, the forced marriage at the Bentmo Dam work site? Answer. I never witnessed any rape, and I do not know about rape. Have you ever witnessed any rape? Answer. Have you ever witnessed any rape? Answer. Have you ever witnessed any rape? Answer. Glitch. Uh, there was no uh, translation in French. Il a pas eu d'interprétation vers le français. President, you may now resume your line of questioning. Civil party lawyer. Wait, uh, civil party lawyer. Uh, lawyer for Kirsten Pond, and Aguisay, you may now proceed. J'en profite pour uh, rebondir sur la dernière question à laquelle uh, uh, Monsieur le témoin yes, a déjà répondu, mais uh, il me semble question. que je suis hors champ. Oh, the last question, I mean, the witness has already answered, but I believe that it was not relevant. The question was not relevant. Thank you. I want to continue asking questions about the visit of delegates. Beside the Chinese delegate visiting and filming, taking photo at the dam work site, were there a senior? Leaders uh, visiting the dam work site. Qui venaient ou qui sont venus en visite. Answer. I have no idea who the senior leader were. I noticed there were vehicles at the time. J'ai remarqué qu'il y avait des véhicules. Civil party lawyer. Thank you. Pour les parties civiles, je vous remercie. 
Now you have seen uh, Mr. Kyusonpon. In the past, he was Vous young. Could you tell the court whether you noticed uh, he was there visiting si the Damburg site? En visite sur le site du President, President, please wait, uh, Mr. Winnes, uh, Antaguise, you may not proceed. Alors à ce stade, vraiment, je, je ne sais même pas si j'ai besoin d'objecter tellement ça me paraît évident. Le témoin vient d'indiquer qu'il ne savait pas qui étaient les dirigeants, euh, qu'il ne sait pas s'il si, euh, y a des gens qui sont venus en visite. Et ma confrère reformule en disant « Vous avez vu M. Kusampan ?» Je pense que ça se passe des commentaires. J'objecte évidemment et je pense que s'il n'y a que des questions de ce style hein, qui doivent poursuivre, je pense que euh, on pourrait peut-être demander à ma consoeur d'aller... Euh, à l'essentiel du sujet, vu le peu de minutes qui reste. Ah, Lawyer, thank you very much. I conclude my line of questioning. That was the last question from me earlier. President, Mr. Whitney, you are instructed not to respond to the question. Mr. Copé, to allow the chamber to make a decision on the requests made by you in relation to DCCAM documents. The chamber require you to provide a list of uh, the document with your numbers to the senior legal officer this afternoon so that the chamber can have a proper list of documents and can decide on your request tomorrow. Mr. President, I was already ready. Uh, within five minutes, you have um, the email with the attachment. So we were already preparing it, and within the next five or ten minutes, you will have that email with attachment. Cinq à dix prochaines minutes avec en annexe, en pièce jointe plutôt, le document pertinent. Thank you, then. You may not see Judge Lawen. Mr. Leving's microphone is not turned on. Sorry, pardon. Euh, Maître Copé, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si le document pertinent est le document E353.1 Puisque si c'était le cas, if je note que ce document qui fait effectivement référence à 66 déclarations du CDCAM uh, ne contient that pas les euh, références ERN ni les numéros euh, E3 qui auraient éventuellement été attribués. Donc euh, c'est pour ça que nous avons besoin de, de plus de précision. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, could you repeat? I have all 66 documents here with all the numbers. Could you be so kind and repeat the number that you just said? Peut-être pour une question de clarification, mon confrère a indiqué que le document est en préparation. En fait, ils ont, fait des ils ont effectué des recherches sur les noms qui figurent sur le fameux document que vous avez cité et recherché dans Zylab les noms correspondant à ces déclarations. Et on a vu à ce moment-là que les déclarations étaient en une seule langue et avaient eu des numéros E3. Donc cette liste n'est pas quelque chose qui est annexé au document que vous évoquez, mais une liste qui a été préparée à l'équipe de Monsieur Je me permets d'intervenir en français directement et parce que nous avons évoqué la situation un petit peu plus tôt. Donc, euh, pour clarifier, voilà, cette liste est une liste qui a été établie par l'équipe de Nonchea après recherche. Je note simplement qu'il faut une journée d'audience complète pour arriver à avoir une idée à peu près claire de la requête qui est faite à la Chambre. Um, here is the document that we are about to send to you. Um, it's an overview of all 66 DC CAM statements, all 
uh, with the original E305 number and all uh, with the subsequent E3 number. And in the next column, we have indicated which ones are translated into English, which is only 13 out of 66. So you will have, in, as I said, in the next five minutes, this, this Excel overview with uh, uh, the documents which are translated into another language. Avec les documents qui ont été traduits les codes. President, thank you. President, Council. Merci, it's now time for the adjournment, and the chamber will adjourn from now on. The hearing will resume tomorrow. 29 of July 2015 at 9 a.m. Tomorrow, the chamber will continue to hear witness Mom Suum, and after which, the chamber will hear 2TCW866 in relation to Kong Pong Chunang Airport or work site. Please be informed and please be on time. Uh, Thank you very much, Mr. Mom. Soon the hearing of your testimony as a witness has not come to an end yet. yet. You are therefore invited to be here again at 9 a.m. tomorrow. You are now. You may now be accused. Court officer, please work with a vessel to send this witness back to the place where he is staying at the moment, and please invite him back into the courtroom tomorrow at 9 a.m. Security personnel. I instructed to bring Mr. Kisubon and Noon Chia back to the detention facility of the ECCC and please bring them back tomorrow at 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.